Welcome everybody. Today we've got this metallic obsidian black Mercedes GLE 250D formatic. The four-wheel drive system is a fantastic addition to this already stylish bespoke luxury SUV. We'll take a quick look at some of the further details. So aside from the metallic obsidian black, you've got the LED intelligent light system from Mercedes. You've got the gloss black honeycomb badge with chrome accents and styling. Also, it's the AMG style. The honeycomb is continued down onto the front grille. You've also got the canyards and a chrome splitter. Now the styling on this car does make it stand out from the rest in its class, being the BMW X5, the Audi Q7, and potentially even a Range Rover. These just look a little bit better, a little bit more present on the road. So that AMG kit, you've got side skirts, You've also got roof bars, and you've also got body coloured bumpers, body coloured door handles, body coloured mirrors with built in indicators, crown window surrounds, tinted rear privacy glass. You also here have the AMG five spoke diamond cut alloys. You have roof bars. And moving round to the rear, it's quite impressive. You have a nice big sturdy rear end with a nice chrome boot lip, chrome diffuser and chrome built-in exhaust integrated into the rear diffuser which is that of a black titanium plastic. Now, as you would imagine, the boot room on one of these has to be impressive to compete. And it is. Lots of room in there, anything at all that you'd wish to put in you can get there. Whether you're down to B&Q to pick up some lockdown DIY tools or you want to take the dog a walk over a local nature reserve. This car really can do it all. And also, just before we close it, underneath, you've got a spare wheel and additional storage should you need it. Now, the tailgate is remote operated, as we can see. And you've also got, on your lip spoiler, a built-in integrated LED bright light. The lights themselves, LED once again and you've also got here a really nice touch Mercedes Benz just a nice little thing people don't notice as you can see obsidian black it's a really nice colour it's really great in this light at the moment it's just gone 10 o'clock here at Emerald in the morning nice little bit of hazy sun and the metallic obsidian black really does pop and do its thing right we really like this before you make your mind up let's show you some of the features on the interior Interior is now different, class and style personified throughout the vehicle. So we'll start around here at the seats. You've got perforated leather with white contrast stitching and you've also got the nice normal leather just around the outer edge of the perforated. Moving around, you've got a nice here brushed steel effect. Really, really effective when it's in the car. Really goes nicely with the gloss black styling otherwise echoed throughout. You've got your nice big media screen. Piano gloss black inlay. You've got your media system now, which controls your DAB, your radio, your Bluetooth, your media, whether that be Bluetooth streaming, whether it be USB, CD, Apple CarPlay, or Android Auto. You've also got your navigation, and you've got other little features on there sound, telephone, and you've got your numbers here, which can be used to dial a number if you want old school, or you can change your track on your CD. Down here, we won't gloss on it too much, you've got your air conditioning, pretty straightforward, every vehicle has it, no need to go into depth. Down here, you've got a little bit of storage, cup holders and whatnot, and a 12 volt charger. And here, you also have some more options, hill descent and manual mode. Here, this is real the staple piece of this car, this is your dynamic drive select mode, individual, sport, comfort, snow or over rocky terrain. Now here, this is the iDrive system as such for the Mercedes. This controls the media unit. Really straightforward, really simple to use. And in here, you've got a little bit more storage and some facilities for USB. Now, onto the steering wheel. Perforated leather, flat bottomed, small, adjustable, and multifunction. You also have flappy paddles here for if you want to learn how to drive this properly. Now, these controls on this wheel, control the instrument cluster and as you can tell you will have a menu within that setting so we'll take a quick look 
Now, now the vehicle's on and engaged, you can see these buttons here on the left control the instrument cluster. So to go across on your menus, you simply click across. Trip, navigation, audio, telephone, assist, service, and settings for the vehicle. Now, if you go down on the menu, this button here, you can change the options from within that menu. A lot of people like the eco display. I'm one that likes to see how fast I'm going because I have a heavy right foot. You've also, just down here, got your cruise control and this is your automatic gear stick. Please do not get this confused with your indicators or your lights. And finally, onto here, you've got your engine start stop and you've got automatic headlights. All in all, a really nice, stylish SUV that really can handle the terrain anywhere you want to put it. And finally, just in the back, enough room for the kids to come along and enjoy the journey. Two, you also have Isofix in there. And finally, on the windows, brushed aluminium, you've got electrically operated chairs, they do also have lumbar support, the ability to deadlock the doors, electric windows, ability to deadlock the windows, electrically operated mirrors, and a remote boot release from inside. Mercedes really big, luxurious SUV entry. Packs a punch, on-road, off-road, actually especially off-road, because this vehicle also has the 4MATIC four-wheel drive system. Similar to that of Audi's Quattro or VW's 4Motion or BMW's X-Drive. The Mercedes really can go on any terrain at any speed with anybody inside. It's big, it's comfy, it's luxurious, it's packed full of technology and it drives beautiful, of which now I'll be able to show you. So, as a car to drive, the Mercedes GLE, smooth, transition in the gears is nice, isn't too high on the rev ratio, the engine isn't too noisy, the cabin's quiet, the road noise is low. It's just a nice place to be. It, it feels rather elegant, if I was to summarise it in one sentence. With the brushed aluminium, the gloss black, the leather, it's just nice. It's just a really nice, modern, stylish cabin. It's got plenty of room. You've got Isofix in the back. It's pretty much practical for a family of any size and go wherever they'd like to go. You could drive this to the shops, you could drive it on a long commute, you can do motorway miles. And being a diesel, you'll benefit from low running costs and you'll get a great fuel consumption as well. Now, the car itself, all the displays are quite modern, quite bold, quite stylish. As I like to say on most cars, they are high resolution and they are quite striking. The instrument cluster itself is the AMG. It does have the chequered flag livery as such within the instrument cluster which is quite a nice addition, and it just gives you that bit more authentic track base feel in a car that otherwise wouldn't. Really smooth transitional gear changes. You do have the option here with the flappy paddles on the multifunction steering wheel to allow you to change yourself between gears and rev higher, rev lower, whatever you want to do. Now, an all important feature on the GLE is this here. This is your driver select mode. So what you have, individual, sport, comfort, and you also have slippery, and you also have off-road. Now obviously the off-road settings and slippery, you wouldn't really use too much, but they are vital settings in such weather, which allow the car to drive itself in some respects and adapt to its surroundings. A great feature, and again, alongside the four-wheel drive, really helpful, really useful for the end user. We like Sport Mode at Emerald, which does allow you to have a uprated throttle response, a higher rev limit, and it just gives the car a little bit more pull and it gives it a bit firmer suspension and power steering. What we're going to do now, as we've just mentioned steering, we're going to take it round the island and demonstrate there's no knocks or any bangs or any unwanted surprises from the car and show you just how nice the car drives in a straight line. Here we go, so we'll get up to 60 mile an hour, which we've done with ease. We'll just get to a straight road and I'll take my hands off the wheel and just demonstrate that there's no worry about tracking and the car drives straight and true. We'll then brake under pressure and just demonstrate further that there's no brake drudder or any delay in the braking system. We're now up to 60 mile an hour, straight road, and there we go. 
car drives nice, true and straight. No worries about tracking. Now we'll brake 30, 20, 10. And as you can see, there's no delay, no judder and no slip on the brakes. Great car, great feeling, great driving experience. Just remember guys, every car at Emerald is treated to the 128 point check prior to retailing. This covers both cosmetic and mechanical as an inspection, meaning you as an owner can buy with us with complete reassurance and the utmost confidence knowing that your car should have no maintenance for the foreseeable future. We thank you very much for watching and we hope to hear from you soon.